okay. And now I'm dipping into the zinc white with this very small brush here, and I'm running a little line along the shore here. It was working better before, but anyways. Let's try it again. There it is. And then I take the brush sideways to bring the beach bill out and just touch lightly underneath the line a little to make this wash. I'll do it over here so you can see it. There's the wash a bit. The white's coming off. And you can pull it down a little. You see that? And then you get this water washing up on the beach. Very lightly though. Sometimes you can do it too little, sometimes you can do it too much. I overdid it there a little because I was trying to show it as a demo. Needs a little more underneath there. Ooh, that's nice. See that little line there is nice. There we go. There you go, see. And you can come up on the beach, and then if it gets too much, you can always bring the brown back in here, see. A little dark brown, uh, sand, I call it. And you can bring little wedges in here. hasn't got to it yet. Remember everything's kind of coming in this way towards the beach. There you go, I'll just darken that out a little. And we'll stop there for a while. Um, yeah, I got out of the sun here, I'm getting a little too hot. And stopping for a cup of tea. Mm. Now, I have been painting with the um, fan brush, uh, the cheaper style fan brush, and just dipping it in a yellow straight down, and then dip touching here on the canvas to give the flowers the feeling that they're smaller in the distance, and we're getting the large ones in front. And I'm just putting in the ones in front with my putty knife here, which I will show you. So once I get my tea done, we'll go back at this and we'll use the, the knife for the front flowers. And it gives you it gives you a sense of depth when you see large foliage or large grass in the foreground, and then gets smaller as you get back. So it gives depth to the painting. So now, as I said, I'm just taking a little tip on my knife here. You can see that. And I'm doing little larger ones in the foreground here. Don't try not to do them all one way. Oh, I put some small ones back there, a little stronger. Just touch your canvas lightly. Move your palette knife around a little so it doesn't end up one way. I like that. A little bit more up here, I think. I'm just squinting to see where I want to go with this. Oops, a bit big.
so I'm not getting too big a blob on the knife. I used to do this with a brush. I've been trying to change my ways a little. You get used to doing one thing, one way, and you know, you don't do try anything new anymore. So when I put the flowers in the back here, I put so many in that I've lost the contrast of dark and light. So I'm re-putting in a little bit of dark to create that element once more of grass. I overworked it most likely. That's a little too much. Now I have green here with thinners in it, but Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. A, bit, a little bit more thinner than this, see if it cheers me up a bit. Ooh, that's very wet. Make it a little bit blacker maybe, on the dark side. And yeah, my brush is very wet right now. Really too wet. You get what I'm doing. I most likely to kill those spots where it was too wet there. So you know I'm working back and forth. One minute it's dark, now I gotta get a little light in there again. <laughs> 